Thomas Day was an unusual figure in 19th century North Carolina, a free person of color in a slave society. He was a master craftsman with his own successful business where he employed both black and white artisans. In addition to owning a shop in Milton, North Carolina, he owned his home, a farm, and slaves. He and his wife, Aquila Wilson Day, who was a free woman of color and his business partner, worshiped side by side with white parishioners at their local Presbyterian church. He was well known and respected, addressed as Sir or Mr. Day by white and black members of the community. Day was a prolific maker, producing furniture and architectural woodwork for the homes of wealthy planters and middle-class merchants. The North Carolina Museum of History in Raleigh, North Carolina, has the largest collection of Day's work, but his designs are also preserved in historic buildings across the Carolinas and Virginia. His work is notable for its fluid lines, curving shapes, idiosyncratic motifs, and spiraling forms. While Day is a recognizable name and an extensive body of research exists on his work, there are plenty of black craftspeople that we don't know about, both free and enslaved. The Black Craftspeople Digital Archive, created by Dr. Tiffany Moman, is changing that. It's a digital humanities project that centers black craftspeople and documents their lives and contributions to the making and building of the United States.